Okay, so uh, this video is on how to set up uh, FL Studio and the Arturia uh, MK2 keyboard. Also, the Essential Keyboard works um, with uh, on a Mac OS X system. Um, so for this one, um, you know, first you're going to go to the website. Uh, I'll include a link in the video. You're going to click on this code button and then click on download zip. And you're going to save this file. Uh, and then when that's done, you're going to open it and then you're going to copy out this file. Um, and then you are going to go to documents. Go to image line, uh, let me zoom in. You're gonna go to image line. Um, then you're, sorry, this is in documents, then image line, then the FL Studio folder. And then you're gonna go to settings. And then under settings, you're gonna go to hardware. And then under hardware, you're gonna go into, or sorry, under hardware, you're just gonna paste it there. So if you paste it, it'll go in here, okay? Um, and so that that's it for the installation part. Uh, then the next step is to set up an FL Studio. And for do that, you're going to launch uh, FL Studio. And then uh, you're going to go to Options. Uh, let me zoom in. Options and then uh, MIDI settings. And then, um, oh, let me have your keyboard plugged in. So let me do that. Um, so the keyboard's plugged in, and then what you're going to do is you're going to set uh, uh, under this input, uh, you're going to set the Keylab MK261 MIDI to the Arteria Keylab MK2 MIDI. And then for the DAW, you're going to set that to the DAW script. So Arteria Keylab MK2 DAW MIDI and MIDI out too. Okay. Um, and then you're going to assign these to arbitrary ports. So for the DAW port, I assigned to one. For the MIDI port, I assigned to two. Um, and then for um, the output, uh, you're going to have uh, the same settings, one and two. Um, do note that if you are a Windows user, I do have a separate Windows um, video on the setup. And uh, this step is going to be slightly different. And the reason for that is because um, Mac uh, does support multi-session um, multi, uh, multi uh, MIDI. Um, whereas Windows, uh, only one device and one session can be supported um, for the MIDI device. Um, so uh, this is specifically needed. The, uh, Mac can support this, but Windows um, doesn't like this setting. Okay, and that, that's it for the setup. Um, and then finally, uh, when you, whenever you add a new plugin, um, so let's say I add, uh, you know, Vital, um, you want to make sure that um, you set the MIDI input port to 10. So, um, you know, we added a plugin, we would go here, click on the settings gear, go in here and change the MIDI input port to 10. Um, and the reason for doing this is so that uh, when you tweak the knobs and sliders um, and you try to learn the assignments, uh, they do work under this with the plugin mode. Um, and I'll show that in another video. Um, but for now, uh, you know, just make sure you have this set to input port 10. Um, and if you want a faster way to do this, you can save this as a preset, uh, save preset as, and we will call this, you know, uh, Arteria Vital, okay? And then the next time when we create a plugin, um, you know, we just need to recall that preset. So. Here, I've created it. I just need to recall that preset here, Arteria Vital. And you'll see that um, you know input port is set to 10. So uh, again, quick uh, important disclaimer is whenever you add a plugin, make sure you set the MIDI input port to 10. Um, that's a requirement. Okay, um, and that's it for, uh, for this video.